You too. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a couple days since I've been gone. And I'm gonna be honest, I know I say this all the time. And I know y'all hear this all the time. But, you know, I got other shit going on. You feel me? Outside of YouTube, I got a life. And y'all know life be life. And so, as y'all can see, you feel me? I'm always working. You feel me? When the camera not up, you feel me? Just know, it's like this. Like, behind the curtains. You know, I'm putting in that work. Out of YouTube, I got other work that I do. How y'all been, though? It's been like four days since I posted. This really a late video. It's like 10 o'clock right now, but it's all good, though. I actually got some good news for y'all niggas, though. Y'all ready for the good news? Jump roll, please. Finna be a full-time content creator. Y'all heard it first, man. I'm finna be a full-time content creator. And I'm doing this for y'all. To give y'all free game. You feel me? I'm, I'm pouring into y'all because when I was... 14, 15, 16, I wanted somebody to give me game. You feel me? I wasn't around people that always gave me game. So now I want to do for y'all. I want to give y'all game. So I still don't know my schedule yet uh, as far as like posting. Uh, shit, I guess. As a full-time creator, you got to figure shit out. You feel me? I'm excited though. I'm really excited. Uh, y'all the first to hear. You feel me? Y'all is the first to hear. And, um, I really appreciate all y'all niggas though. Watching my videos, make sure y'all comment. Make sure y'all like it. Make sure y'all give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Not further, like, engage with me. Y'all not engaging. You feel me? Free game. You got two ears and one mouth. Listen. All you gotta do is listen. But, um, this is gonna be more so a talking video. We ain't really gonna be doing much. We're gonna roll up, talk. I actually got to share something with y'all, too. I got another thing. And I just figured this out. Um, two days ago. Two days ago, I figured this out. And if this is going to help me, it can definitely help y'all. People, see, people be playing with my top, man. Like, I don't like when people play with me. It's not going to be long. We're going to keep this short. You know, like, when you hear something, you feel me? You hear it, and you, you know it's beneficial, but, you know, it ain't really... You know, hit you like that. You know, it'll come back and hit you. I just figured this shit out. It's not, it's not more so that I figured it out. It just resonate with me more because I'm in a stage where it needs to resonate with me, if that makes sense. Because when I heard it, it didn't resonate with me. Because I was still just doing shit, if that makes sense. We about to smack this. Feel me, I like a fat leg. Oh, burnt my damn face off. It was so good, I had to write it down in my journal. I should have started off. Do you, do you want to know why you procrastinate? <clears throat> that should be like <clears throat> my commercial slogan. Do you want to know why you procrastinate? Because a lot of us want to know why we procrastinate. If you really want to understand yourself, I feel like you would, you would ask yourself these questions like, why do I do this? Why do I do that? Why do I react to this? Why do I react to that? Like, Cause me personally, like I, I've always been curious, and you know I always wonder why I did certain stuff, and it came down to obviously what I've been taught. I always wonder why, like I procrastinated. You feel me? Like why, why did I say I'm gonna do it, but I don't do it? And like I said, it came to me the other day, and I was like, what the fuck? Like, that's why I don't do it. Come back for the commercial break and we'll get straight into it. Welcome back from the commercial break, man. How was it? Great commercial break, man. Y'all wonder why we procrastinate. And hopefully this is some game to y'all because, like I said, if this... It might not resonate with y'all yet because y'all probably not in the stage. It Y'all probably not in the stage to where it needs to resonate with y'all. Like I said, when I heard this, I heard it, but it didn't resonate with me because I wasn't in that stage. But it resonates with me now because I'm in the stage to where I need to apply this method 
to move the needle. And it came down to just starting with small habits. That's just what it all. That's what it's all about. It's all about starting with small habits. And the whole reason with starting with small habits is so your mind can be trained to do the thing you say you wanted to do. You can't say, okay, starting next week, I'm gonna go to the gym for 30 minutes every day. You're not gonna go to the gym for 30 minutes every day because your mind isn't trained to go to the gym for 30 minutes every day. You might go two days through that week that you say you was gonna go, but that third day, your mind is gonna start to negotiate with you because your mind isn't trained to go 30 minutes every day. So that's why I say small habits are the healer and procrastination is the killer. You feel me? So if you wanna kill procrastination, you gotta use the healer, which is small habits, because what the small habits do is this. You could say, okay, starting next week, I'm gonna go to the gym for 10 minutes every day. Some of y'all might be like, 10 minutes? 10 minutes is not enough to work out. But we're not going to work out. We're going to train our minds to go to the gym. You gotta train your mind to say, okay, we're going to the we're going to the gym every day next week starting for five minutes. And then you might you might try to skip a day. Your mind gonna be like, What what are you doing? Why are we not at the gym? It's only for five minutes. See now your mind thinking, we only going for five minutes, so we're not gonna work out like that. So your mind is gonna like that. You feel me? Your mind is gonna like the fact that y'all don't have to work out for thirty minutes. And then when you, when you start to go next week, every day for that five minutes, you're gonna be like, damn, I can do this. You feel me? And then maybe the next week, you might be like, okay, fuck it. I did five minutes last week. Let me increase it to 15 minutes. You start going 15 minutes every day for that next week. Cause what we doing is we gotta train the mind. We gotta, and this is not no, no wow moment. It's, this is really what it is because we try to, we try to, we try to jump in 12 feet and we didn't even train to swim in five feet. So we're gonna drown in 12 feet. We're gonna drown trying to start in in large amounts. We're gonna drown trying to go to the gym for an hour knowing we not used to going to the gym for an hour. All right, I had to get something to drink. When you talk a lot, your mouth get dry. The reason they're procrastinating is because they didn't train for the thing they say that they want. The key to kill procrastination is to start small with, with the thing you say you want to do. That's it. So let's let's use another analogy. Let's say, you know, you wanna you wanna read a book. You say you come up with a thought that say, okay, I wanna read a book. What you're gonna do is this. Literally, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna get a whiteboard, you're gonna get a piece of paper, you're gonna get whatever it is that you're able to write on and do a checklist Monday through Friday, do a checklist and say, I'm going to read for five minutes on Monday. I'm going to read for five minutes on Tuesday. I'm going to read for five minutes on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And you look back when it's Friday or maybe Saturday, you look, you look on Saturday and look at your checks, your checklist and be like, damn, I completed all of this. And that's, and another thing and another benefit with starting small is you're going to build confidence. You're going to be confident that you can do it. See, a lot of us lack confidence. We lack confidence in doing things, so we don't do it. But a key way to build confidence is to start with small habits. You feel me? Confidence comes from doing the thing every day. To be great, you got to show up every day. You don't got to give 100% every day. You just got to show up. And once you show up every day for seven days a week, maybe five days a week, but it's seven for me. Once you do that, you know, you progress. You're like, damn, I can do this every day. And now you speaking that out. I can do this every day. You're going to do it every day. So like I said, this is not going to be a long video. It's going to be, it's going to be real short, you know. Um, so once again, <clears throat> If you want to kill procrastination, you better start with small habits. Because you can't put your feet in a size 12 shoe knowing that you wear a size 9. 
It's not going to work. You feel me? You're going to be walking around with big shoes on with a little body. You feel me? So you got to start small with habits. Like for me, and this is, I'm using this real life example. I've been talking about um, learning Spanish. So what I did was get a whiteboard. You feel me? And I can show y'all right now. So my mind is trained to do this for seven days a week. So this week, I'm doing it again for seven days a week, but I increased the time. So, of course, I'm going to be fluent with Spanish because I, I train my mind to do it. Because I, I did it with training my mind with small habits to learn Spanish. Started off with five minutes a day. I started off with 10. You feel me? I increased it. So... Toast up to the small habits. So what we try to do as a society is start from the top and work down from the bottom. You got to have a foundation first. The ground is the most imperative thing to use to build up. So we got to build a foundation, whether that's in starting a business, starting just starting anything. We need a foundation to build. I'll tell you all for real, just start with small habits. Because what was once big started small. And what was once small became big. I mean, this video not for everybody. We all got to understand that we not for everybody. But we are for somebody. So